Hello, my beautiful friends. Today I will share with you what I ate in a day recently when I was in New York City with Alex. Are you guys ready to see it? Let's get started. Of course, we're gonna start with breakfast. And Alex and I found this new Australian breakfast cafe. In my opinion, Australians do the best breakfast. If you're Australian, give this video a big thumbs up. They had a lot of great gluten-free choices. And of course, I get excited about that because I choose not to eat gluten. And a lot of other great options for brunch, which was amazing. So I ended up getting a gluten-free toast with avocado and an egg. And I also had almond milk cappuccino, which looked absolutely beautiful i couldn't believe it's actually almond milk because it's hard to create design on almond milk when you know you're pouring the espresso in so as you can see the breakfast looks absolutely beautiful the way they decorated it said a little prayer and i'm gonna dive right into it and the gluten-free toast actually was very, very delicious. I was impressed. And normally I don't really drink coffee, but again, when you're in an Australian cafe, they do really good coffee. So I just had a few sips and shared it with Alex. It was very, very good. All right, as you can see, I enjoyed my breakfast and moving on to the rest of the day. It was a beautiful sunny day in New York. And of course we did a lot of walking and as we're walking, I just always make sure to stop by and get some water. I prefer if I have the option to always get water in a glass bottle as opposed to plastic. I mean, sometimes it's not possible, but whenever I can, I do that. And then taking a little break now, right in front of the Flatiron building and drinking some water. I didn't realize I got sparkling water, but anyways, I love both flat and sparkling water. It's absolutely delicious. Water is so important to keep you hydrated, to keep your blood flowing, to just keep your energy up. I cannot stress enough how important water is in our day. And I've just been making sure recently to drink at least two liters of water, up to three sometimes, because I have a very active lifestyle. And now I'm gonna take you to my favorite lunch spot. Just wait and see. All right, we're here. Oh God, I love this place so much. I honestly waited months. I couldn't wait to come back to New York so that I can go to Chloe. And the reason I love this cafe is because they do really amazing burgers. I'm not really a burger person, but their burgers are absolutely amazing. They're vegan. So the patty is made out of beans and chickpeas and all kinds of plant-based um, ingredients. The bun is gluten-free, it's made of, out of potato flour. And then instead of mayonnaise, there's guacamole inside and it's just like absolutely scrumptious delicious the sweet potato fries that I'm eating right now are air baked that's right I don't know how they do that but it's an amazing process that is very healthy it's kind of like baking the potatoes but it gets them really really crispy so yeah I'm enjoying myself too much right now and so is Alex <laughs> if you're ever in New York make sure to check this place out At about 4 p.m. we need a little pick-me-up so we head to Juice Generation which is another favorite spot of ours for great smoothies. They, most of their ingredients are organic. My favorite smoothie here is called Kale Colada and what you do is you basically, you have to request it because they normally serve it in a cup unless you request it. So you get a coconut right from the fridge and of course I pick out the biggest one I can find and then of course you have to pay for your drink and then what they do is open the coconut right in front of your eyes she's going to pour the coconut water out of the coconut. Then she has this really cool tool that I really need to get to take the coconut meat out of the coconut. It's absolutely easy. I mean, the way she does it, it looks like it's really easy. So she puts that in as well. And then she will add some kale and banana. And that's it. It's super easy, but it tastes incredibly good, guys. It's such an amazing drink. And then she pours it back into the coconut and even gives me the extra in an extra cup. It's amazing. Oh, I cannot wait to enjoy this. Amazing. It's a bit strange to be drinking out of a coconut in the middle of New York City, but why not? It's so good. Love it. Healthy, delicious, and absolutely good for you. Now, at about 7, 8 p.m., we head out to dinner. And again, we're going to one of our favorite places called Palma. I love this place because their food is very healthy and very delicious. It's an Italian, like a modern Italian restaurant. 
All right, what am I gonna get today? I think I already know because I always get the same thing when I come here. They have an amazing kale salad. Okay, one more thing I wanna mention. I usually don't drink with my food, but sometimes when I do, I just request for hot water with lemon and I just sip on it slowly. So if I need some liquid, I usually will do that. So here's the kale salad. It looks absolutely delicious. There's kale, there's apple inside, there's pomegranate seeds, and I think some kind of a lemon uh, olive oil dressing. Okay, let me try. Mmm, so fresh and so good. And Alex got some cauliflower dish. It's also very nice. And usually when we order at restaurants, Alex and I share everything we eat. It's just something we're used to doing. And this is the best thing ever, guys. Oh my God, I'm gonna say a little prayer because this looks absolutely amazing and I'm so grateful. I'm even gonna smell it because it smells so divine. And this is a gluten-free house-made fettuccine. The base of this pasta is rice flour. So they mix a few gluten-free flours and the base, the main base is rice. And then as you can see, there's massive wild mushrooms. I think this is porcini and a few other mushrooms. Oh my goodness, I try to eat slow, but I think I was done too fast. <laughs> Oh, this was so good. Too good, guys. All right, that's all that I ate on that day in New York City. If you enjoy my traveling, what I eat in a day videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll do more for you guys. Thank you again for tuning in. I love you guys and have a beautiful day. Bye.